Alright, we're back. Cool. So, in the last one... Uh, we got this thing to do something... Some thinking. Okay. Now let's make it work. So... We're going to start out with open authentication. Okay. And I'm going to pull this down a little bit here. So please select from following. While I'm here, I'm going to put a call in right Yeah. Okay. Spacer read key. Okay, now that's the key that we input, so it's going to select uh, one, two, or three. Okay. And then it's going to say what we're doing, so it's using open authentication. Okay. And now we need to read what type of authentication it is to actually import it. So when we use our I, uh, I, W config, okay, because now we have to add this stuff, um, how we were doing it manually, but now we're using a script to add it for us. So, let's say key equals off, okay, we just introduced a new variable, that variable is off, okay, and, hmm, read key, okay, read key. Let's say, right here, I'm gonna put some comments in. Okay. Connect to open AP. Okay. So, this test here, We'll connect to the open access point. Actually, let me move that comment down to right here. Okay, connect to open access point. You know, it said, you know, read key. If key is one, If the key is 1, then we'll connect to an open access point. And this is the beginning process of connecting, so we'll say echo using open authentication. I'm going to set the key to off. Okay. Now, right here is where we're going to do a few things. This is where the functions come in. We could say, uh, connect, you know, and, you know, type out all our stuff here with, you know, lots of other stuff, but as you can see here, uh, this script is getting a little up there, okay, so, and we really don't want to pollute it with all that stuff, and why not use some functions, so let's make a function called, one, we want to sanitize uh, what's going on, okay, and by sanitize, I mean we want to down our interface, we want to do all that, okay, and next, um, after we clean it, we want to also say something like connect, okay, so we'll make another function called connect, and then we need to test that, um, see, if you ever get syntax highlighting like that, this test is actually syntax within the bash, uh, bash descriptor itself. So it'd be a bad idea to do that. Clean is is very close. To, you know, it cleans the a command. Test is also a command. So if we were to say test here, our function could not be named test. Okay, so that's called tester. Okay. And then after that's all done, let's say exit. Okay, and this is going to break out an if statement, and then we should be good to go. So we need clean, con, and tester. So up here in our functions, 
break this apart. Let's say clean. Connect. And a test function. Okay. So let's give a description here. Clean function will set up a let's say set up a good environment. Set up set up devices. function will set up devices. That's good enough for right now. Say clean. Remember, it's a function, so uh, parentheses. And then we have curly brackets. Open them up. Let's go. So how do we want this to run, first of all? Clean function. We need... We need output. So we'll say echo. We might use the ying. Echo. We need the downer interface. <clears throat> we need the downer interfaces, but we want this to work um, like a charm every time, okay? And we need to think about what we need to do besides down the interface. One is kill, okay? Well, we can put that in the next line. Let's say kill all. 9. Okay. What program do we want to kill? First we want to kill... If we fail at a WPA supplicant, it would be good to kill WPA supplicant. Okay. Um, now, if we were to run this just as is, kill WPA supplicant, we might get some feedback. And I don't want that in my script. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the output into dev null two and into one. I think that's the right syntax. I'm going to check that. Take over here. You can see these are all the expanded functions over here. Nope, that was wrong. Two and two and one. Okay. So if it gives us any output like uh, WP supplicant is not started, okay, then it was right into dev null. We don't even see it. So we don't want it splashing all over the screen. Okay. Now we can copy this out. And let's say I want to kill all the H client is another the H client. If they are running, WPA supplicants running and we try to um, get a WPA key again. It's going to uh, fail, okay? Because we didn't stop the first process. It's just going to layer processes up, and it's going to fail. DS client same way. It's going to fail. Definitely will fail with DL client. Okay. So let's say. Hmm, let's say. Killing old net processes. Okay, little dots there. Then it's going to do it. Eh, that's a good idea to make it sleep. Maybe say two seconds here, just in case it needs to catch up. Which I doubt it will, but it it just makes it look good. Just so it's, it falls out in like sequential order. <clears throat> it's nice. It's nice er to look at. And let's say, killing all old processes. 
let's see. That's good enough. It's gonna start that, it's gonna kill DD's client. Okay. Now let's make it say something like Echo E. By the way, if you have a network manager running, you can run this on a mint machine too. Okay? If you have a network manager or something like that. Network manager is gonna give you problems if you are running it. You can even come in here and just say kill all nine uh, network manager. Okay? And it'll kill network manager. Or uh, you can say you have to find the exact path to the network manager, which is usually Etsy in it dot D network uh, manager manager stop I think it is space stop okay and it'll kill it <coughs> or stop it then you can connect through this without having to use that uh, network manager it gets pretty pretty clumsy in some aspects when you're trying to connect to two different devices at the same time which you can do through while and O and Etho. Network manager doesn't like you doing that. And you can avoid that by doing this. Okay, so that's down. Let's bring down interfaces. Okay. Bring down interfaces. So now we need to say uh I have config. While and O down and let's put that also into dev null two and one so it's gonna get the errors uh, standard out and the errors and it's gonna put them down it's gonna put them into dev null so you never see them okay Bring down interfaces so you can kill all the net processes Actually, I'm going to echo something else out of here. Killing all... Killing old net processes. Let's say... Killing... WPA... Simplicate. Okay? For an open configuration, we don't need it, but... This, uh... This clean function we can also put into a WPA or when we go to authenticate our WPA keys. Echo E. Killing. DH. Client. Okay. Even if it's not up, it's good to do it anyway. Kill it before you start it. Okay. That, that ensures that it's dead. So sleep to. Then you're going to kill each client. Sleep two again. Okay. Bring down interfaces. While it down. Let's say bring in down. Some dots. And let's sleep two. We'll wait that so far. Okay. Now. I have config while I know down. Okay. Actually, see. Bring it down to interfaces. I can actually drop Etho in here too, real quick. I think I will. He's not really a. Uh, These are not. These can go down faster than actual programs that are running up there. I don't think I should have too much of a problem with that. Okay. Okay. We'll write that. So we're going to kill old net processes. Uh. Kill. WPA supplicant. Kill DH client. Bring down the interfaces, okay, 
and now let's bring echo e. Let's bring while and o back up. Okay. Okay, so if it wasn't down, it is down now. Okay, and now that it's down, we're going to bring it back up. And let's say I have config. Well, no. Up. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm good so far. Let's run it and see what happens. I have I have config right now. No interfaces open. Okay. <coughs> Say dot run netman. Press two for a new access point. Blah. Select type of authentication. Do one. Using the augment authentication, killing net processes, WP supplicant, bring down to each client, network interfaces, blah blah blah. Okay. Good. Now if we say I have config, by the way I want you to note what happens here, okay, see these two functions are, are in there, but they're not defined yet, okay, so the functions are there, but they're not defined, that's a cool deal, now let's say I have config, okay, so it's working good so far, it's down, uh, ETH is down I mean, and uh, it downed it, Bar it back up. Super deal. Fame. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Looks good. I can chew this up just a little bit. I don't know how far I want to go with that. I want to bring it back up. Okay. Get the model T script over here. And let me see. Clean function, brought it down. Alwyn, okay, back up. And also, too, at the very end, I put. I guess it'd be a good idea to sleep on it. Sleep. Two. A lot of sleeps going on. I could probably do sleep one, but. make this look a little smoother for the sleep one up here. Um, while I know up, now let's do one more here, and we're going to say IY list scan. Okay? And this might be out of a little bit of superstition to me, but I have noticed before, it seems to take a little harder time to connect to an access point if you haven't uh, intellized a list of access points any time recently. It's probably bogus, but that's what I feel. I have config while and out up. I don't want any output when while and out comes back up. I don't need it. So I'm going to send that into 2 and 1. Okay. And I want to send I will list scan into dev null 2 and 1. Okay, so that's what's going to happen there. And after that's done, I don't want to say exit here, because if I say exit, it'll break out, and eh, it could exit the program, so I don't want to do that. Right quit. Let's run it again. Two. Blah. Sleep two. Open router. Okay. Kill the DH client. Bring it down interfaces. Yep, I see my lights blink. Bring it up while I'm going back up. Okay, con and tester not there. Okay, cool. So like I said, I don't want I don't want I like list to come all over my screen. So that's what I don't want. Okay. And uh you know what that's it. On the next one I think I'm going to create the actual uh connect function for um, open connection and then we'll do a little simple test function that's 
I don't even know if you can really call it a test function. It's just a ping. I can set it up as a variable, but I'll, uh, I'll call it a function instead. Alright, so thank you for watching. Peace out.